Back in 2007, Minnesota 2020 introduced our first Made in Minnesota report and online gift guide, highlighting Minnesota-made products and the locally owned shops that sold them. It's a local company here, and they've they uh, fashion the the chair out of reclaimed wood, and uh, and the water skis at a, a fun. Every year, we've worked to update the online gift guide and highlight issues facing locally owned businesses. And in 2010, with the help of our undergraduate research fellows, we were able to focus on issues of sustainability. We came up with uh, three specific criteria for what sustainability means. Do they seek sustainable suppliers or suppliers that meet that definition? You know, most of our products, or I guess all of our products, would fall into one of a couple categories. Uh, recycled, reclaimed, natural, organic. Where their suppliers were and the extent to which they sought sustainable and local suppliers. Do they make conscious sustainable decisions in the shipping, packaging, disposal, and energy use of their product and business? You know, doing something that's good for themselves and for their neighbors. And across the board, that's why people said that they wanted to be a local business. The area that I dealt with was food and drink, local restaurants, and books, movies, and music. Like the clothing and arts and crafts sectors. Kind of the miscellaneous categories. There were a couple reasons that different businesses decided to be sustainable overall. It becomes something of patriotism or of wanting to keep Minnesota a, a healthy place to live for their children. It's important to use your dollars wisely and Buying locally and buying sustainably supports local economic development. It lowers your carbon footprint. So a local made in Minnesota product will likely have a higher economic and environmental quality down the road. And that's really what they're making an investment in when they buy local.